Good evening and salam Ibu Pertiwiku. The Federal Aviation Administration has issued an advisory to U.S. commercial airlines flying over the waters of the Gulf and the Gulf of Oman to exercise caution as tensions between Washington and Tehran continue to simmer. The advisory issued by the FAA on Thursday and circulated late, late on Friday said the warning came amidst heightened military activities and increased political tensions in the region which present an increasing in inadvertent risk to U.S. civil aviation operations due to the potential for miscalculation or misidentification. Tensions have risen in recent days with concerns about a potential U.S.-Iran conflict. Earlier this week, the United States pulled some diplomatic staff from its embassy in Baghdad following weekend attacks on four oil tankers in the Gulf. Washington has increased economic sanctions and built up its military presence in the region accusing Iran of threats to U.S. troops and interests. Tehran has described these steps as psychological warfare and a political game. On Friday, a defiant Iran said it could easily hit U.S. ships. North Korea has asked United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres to deal with the illegal seizure of one of its cargo ships by the United States, state media said on Saturday. North Korean ambassador to the United Nations said in a letter that this act of dispossession has clearly indicated that the United States is indeed a gangster country that does not at all care about international laws. The letter also called for urgent measures by Guterres and claimed that Washington infringed the North's sovereignty and violated UN charters. The U.S. Justice Department said the North Korean cargo ship, known as the Wise Honest, was seized and impounded to American Samoa. The vessel was accused of illicit coal shipments in violation of sanctions and was first detained by Indonesia in April 2018. It has been declared that koalas are functionally extinct in their native home of Australia. The Australian Koala Foundation's chairman, Deborah Tabart, says there are more, more, no more than 80,000 koalas in the country and while this might seem like a lot, there are not enough breeding adults to support the next generation. She said the number was a fraction of the 8 million koalas shot for fur and sent to London between 1890 and 1927. Functionally extinct is a scientific term to describe the species as being beyond the point of recovery. Rising temperatures and heat waves causing deforestation have combined with the appetite of various industries and urbanization to cut down the number of koala habitats. Australia is just days away from an election and activists say the next prime minister should enact the Koala Protection Act rescuing the animals like Americans rescued the bald eagle from the brink of extinction. That's all news for now. I'm Razi Ahmad and thank you for watching. Good night.